Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the Week 11 review of the AFC South. That's right. We were already on Week 11. And oh my god, was it crazy. Both the Titans and Colts shocked us today, but the Colts remain on top of the AFC South. That's right. Colts aren't budging one, didn't budge a bit. Let's get to each game reviews. I want to build up till the big finale. So, so we'll start off with the easy game. The Pittsburgh Steelers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Steelers continue their winning streak against the Jaguars. They won 27-3. Man, did the Jaguars need Gardner Minshew back. Jake Ludden sucked out there. The Steelers' defense was on fire. I mean, seriously, the Steelers' defense was on fire. Even James Robinson couldn't do much. Yet, yeah, Jake Ludden intercepted multiple times because of that Steelers' defense. This is like insanity. To these people. I was like. Like. Holy crap. How could the Steelers win 10 in a row? Oh wait. They were up against the Jaguars. Who are sucking this year. Now let's move on to the win. That shocked us all. The Houston Texans. Defeated the New England Patriots. 27 to 20. Holy crap! That one was a shocker. I mean, I didn't think the Texans were going to win that one. But still, holy crap. The, the Patriots are the second team the Texans have defeated. Sure, they had three wins in a row, but two of them came from the Jacksonville Jaguars when they swept them. Yeah, Deshaun Watson was decent today. Three hundred forty-four yards, two passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown, for example. And man. The receivers that stood up were Kiki Cordry and Randall Cobb. Unbelievable. We all thought we all thought the others were gonna step up. The like Will Fuller, Brandon Cooks. Though Brandon Cooks was decent. Though that Patriots defense didn't do anything. That's right. They did not do a single thing. They allowed the, the Houston Texans to walk right over them. So yeah, it was basically all offense for the Patriots. And now we move on to one of the big games. The Tennessee Titans defeated the Baltimore Ravens in overtime 30 to 24. This is insanity. And King Derrick Henry was to thankful for that. He scored the winning touchdown. He scored the winning touchdown, that's right, and broke a lot of records today. He had this is his third 1,000 plus rushing yard per year this se per, per season. His third. 
This is also his 50th rushing touchdown this all, all of his career. So congratulations, King Henry. Happy 50th touchdown. Though there were some play, though the Titans defense were struggling for a while. While, but they did manage to contain Lamar Jackson. I mean, seriously, Lamar Jackson, he was barely able to to utilize his usual style of ru running right, zipping right through defenses. And though, though the play that shocked me was the fourth and seventh play when Logan Woodside threw it to Will Nick Mo Nick Fuller. Sorry if I get the Nicks and Wills mixed up. Yeah. Logan Woodside. Congrats. Though, John New Smith was a bit banged up but today in today's game. Still, he did do... Though, he did manage to come right back, unlike Jalen Brown. That's right, Jalen Brown got injured today, today's game due to... A sprained shoulder. Shoulder today. Yeah. And now he's out for the season. Yeah, his sprained elbow. Crap, I always get these confused. Anyways, yeah. Jalen Brown is out for the season. The defense, however, needs to improve. Because this is ridiculous. Though, finally, Stephen Goskowski. He, he didn't miss one single kick. Congrats, man. And AJ, but AJ Brown needed to work, needs to practice more. He was lucky to make, to make one touchdown today. <laughs> but although John New Smith got injured today's game, game, he got right back up and he broke rec, and he broke a record too. His seventh touchdown which ties him for Delaney Walker for most touchdowns by a Tennessee Titans tight end. Though one defensive player stood up, the tight... The defensive player that Lamar Jackson got intercepted by was Amari Hooker, who, who's, who took over for Kenny Vaccaro. Holy crap, man. And then, and as you all know, Derrick Henry ran right in for the touchdown in overtime. <laughs> yeah! But that didn't stop, but that didn't stop the Titans from taking first place for long. Yes, that's right. The game that was over, the Indianapolis Colts defeated the Green Bay Packers 34 to 31 in overtime. And I know, Tom Grassi, you're very really mad about this. Trust me, so am I. I want the Green Bay Packers to win that game, but instead, you had the Packers had it, and they lost it. Colts came rushing right back. Though Aaron Rodgers did do good. 311 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Robert Tanya Jr. did get his one of his touchdowns in a while. Though I wish Aaron Jones stood up more, but then there's also Phillip Rivers. He may have played for the end of the game, but he did suffer a big blow, which could impact next game. They'll have to observe Phillip Rivers next week. Both Phillip Rivers had free, and Aaron Rodgers had free touchdowns and one interception. But here's the thing. 
the Packers won the coin toss, and what did they do? They fumbled! They fumbled right at the last second, allowing, allowing, Roger, allowing, Rodrigo Blankenship to score the game-winning field goal. Unbelievable. This is insanity. Titans need the Packers to win. Needed the Packers to win, but the Packers ended up disappointing us because the Colts have the easiest schedule of them all. Now, now Titans have have the most pressure this week. To now, in order to win the AFC South, Titans can't afford to lose any more games, can they? And which means Green Bay Packers, we will get our revenge by destroying you. Yeah. That's basically it. But in the meantime, next week, the Titans and Colts are ready to face off in Indianapolis. That's right. Round two. Ding, ding, ding. But, but that game's on Sunday. Kicking off on Thanksgiving is the Houston Texans going to the Detroit Lions. And, the Jack and on Sunday, the Jacksonville Jaguars will be hosting the Cleveland Browns. Man, oh man! I think the Titans and Colts is something everyone should be... Game is something everyone should be preparing for. Anyways, this is my AFC South channel. And, and I'll see you week 12.